uh, I will try to, to stay brief. We don't have much time left. Um, so I wanted to do, to do a, 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 a crash course introduction to some, a, some, a topic which is dear to my heart, which is how to do uh, some serious modeling. Uh, when, when I mean serious modeling, I mean formal modeling. Uh, and by, by, by formal modeling, I mean modeling things in types. So I guess that all of you were at, the, at, at uh, Eric Evans' talk uh, yesterday evening. Uh, uh, hopefully, uh, uh, you find it uh, interesting to explore the problem with updates. Uh, so uh, there is um, uh, a quick problem. You want to, you, you want to, to, devise, uh, to devise a date. So to, you want to handle dates on your system. And basically, the, you want to handle dates in such a way that, well, you don't want to have absurd dates. Like, you don't want to, a, a date that say, well, this is today, the 29th of February of 2017, which is a date, a date that doesn't exist, right? Um, if you represent your dates as, say, three integers, for example, then you, you're screwed, because basically you can put any number inside, and if, something, if, if by, by chance some error slipped in from the database, from the outside world, from uh, a one key users, then you, you, you start to have some impossible dates in your system. Uh, another problem is that if you start adding, adding days to a date, and you want to do it, uh, you do it using integers, then you can run into trouble because, well, if I want to add 10 days to uh, the 20, 20, if I want to add 10 days to uh, the 10th or the, the 20th of February 2016, uh, this is not the same result that adding 10 days to the, the, the 20th February of 2017. So this is, uh, this is some code. Uh, this code is written in Idris. Idris is, uh, is uh, what, what's called a dependently typed language. The, the idea of a dependently typed language is to hand code rules about the types that we are manipulating and not only about the types, but about the values. So to be able to relate values and types, right? So usually those are two different words, uh, but in the dependently typed language, what you say is something, so you can say something like that. So I could have a, 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 a data type, which is a, which is a, which is a date. This date is a type. And to build the date, what do I need? I need a year, a month, and a day. And the day is a natural number. So far, nothing surprising. What's more interesting is the two other lines. Two other lines say this, they say that in order to properly build a date, I need a proof from the type system that says, well, you know what? I require that the, number, the, day, the, the value of the day is a number which is valid for the month. So I'm, I'm relating two values and I'm relating them inside the type system, which means that this is statically enforced by the compiler, which means that you cannot ship code that will allow, you, allow the 29th of, 29th of February 2017. And there is another proof which says, well, you know what? Uh, I also want that day to be at least one because otherwise it doesn't make sense to add the, the zeros day of February, right? Oh, sorry, yeah, I should have. Um, so this is a date. So this, this is the kind of stuff, fun stuff we can do. And for example, if I load that, um, if I load that code into uh, the, the Idris REPL uh, here, then I can see, I can try to do something like, if I'm trying to do something like, this, so building a date, then you say, well, you know what? Given the numbers you give me, I cannot find the value which, I cannot find something which says that uh, 29 is lower than 28 because, well, the number of months in February is 28. On the, on the other hand, if I do the same with 2016, this gives me 28. The important thing to, to, to see here is that this is compile time. This is not runtime check. This means that we are building programs that are provably correct, right? Um, so um, this is a very simple example with date. Um, what if we, we look at something more interesting, like a cargo? So this is example, an example that is drawn from the blue book, from a, the, the, the book by Eric Evans about uh, domain-driven design. And um, in my spare time, I try to revisit all the examples in this book trying to model them using the type system in the race. So this is one example that I tried to make, which is uh, rather simple. 
Um, and which is a, how, you, how do you model the thing, the, the, uh, how do you model the fact that you can have different booking policies for uh, a cargo that is transported by, uh, by, 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 uh, in, your, in your system. So this is a shipping system. Um, using Idris, you can say things about what, it, you can say things about whether or not a cargo is inside the, the actual voyage. And what, what I mean with inside, you can say that at the compile time, at starting time. So for example, here well, we have this interesting, well, this uh, booking function that say, okay, given a cargo and a voyage, and give a, given an over booking policy, what I return is something which is a voyage, and I return the proof that says whether or not the cargo has been added to the voyage, right? So, and this proof, which is checked by the, by, by the compiler, can later on be used to to by, by, by for the code, which will, which will actually consume that proof to say, okay, I know that the cargo is actually in the voyage or not, maybe not, right? So this gives you added safety and this forces you to actually check that it, it's actually possible for, you, for your cargo to not have been added depending on your rules, right? And you cannot make assumptions. You cannot, you can, the, all the assumptions that you make about your model and your domain model have to be clarified and have to be explained to the type, to the type checkers and have to be proven. So you cannot say, well, you know what? I mean, there will be a cargo. Well, you know, maybe there won't be because that might, might be, it might be over, overbooked. Uh, a final example, example that I wanted to show you is um, uh, something like, oh, sorry. Um, So let's say that we want to model uh, a quiz, right? Uh, an, important, an, an, important, an, an online quiz. So you are, you, you are going to, you, you will be presented some questions and you, want to ans you, you, you have to give answers to those questions and you can travel back and forth. You can take back your, your answer and re 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 provide another answer. An, an interesting property that we, want to, that we want to model in our system and we want to model in our domain is, well, you know what, given some number of current questions and answers questions, that sum should be constant, right? If, if I have 10, 10 questions in my quiz, then it shouldn't be possible for the user to, re to reply to 11 questions, right? Or to get back, if you want to get back, if, you want, if he or she wants to go back, to go back before the first question. So what we are doing, and you can do things like that, like, like that in Idris, you can say, okay, given a quiz with some number of questions, so this is a type which takes a value. So I, I, I built a, a type which has an, a number built in. I say, okay, given this number of, of questions, given some answered questions and some remaining questions, then I have a quiz with a number which is equal to n plus m. And what this means is that this will enforce that all the values in here are, stay consistent when you travel, when you change the state of the, of, the, of the system. So for example, it's not possible to forget a value or to forget to add back a value. Uh, I think I got an example here. If, if, so if, if I try to run, so when I try to run a command, so th this is all interactive, right? This is kind of stuff that can run the, in, the, in the REPL. Then um, I, might, I, might, I might forget to update some values here. And the type system will tell, well, no, there is no way you can forget that. You have to have the same numbers that you that that you put inside. So given some quiz n here, I just expect that given a quiz of size n and given a command, there is no way I can produce a quiz which is of a different size. So I, I will have the same number of questions, and what can change is the ratio between the answered questions and the produced question. So those are simple examples, but I guess it doesn't take too much imagination to 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 think about how you can embed more or less complex domain models into that kind of type system. Thank you very much for your attention.